Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode where we're gonna prepare something delicious today and it's almost Easter and as much as I wanted to prepare Easter cocktail I decided to skip this because there will be plenty out there on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube but I'm gonna keep the new vibe of the channel and introduce you to one of my recipes which kind of a fall to the description of Easter because it's using a proper chocolate liqueur. Uh, when I introduce the liqueur to you, I know most of you probably gonna say we don't have anything like this on our market, but I will give you suggestions as always what you can replace it with to kind of match the recipe. Okay, so if you're ready for some shakes, tears and sips, don't forget to subscribe and let's see what I have prepared for you today. Okay, since it's Easter and everybody's gonna go crazy about chocolate and chocolate eggs and eggs hunting and all this kind of stuff, I'm gonna bring you a recipe which I created a few years ago. It was kind of created for Easter and it was served in totally different way compared to what's gonna be served today. I will pop a picture here to see what I did and as you can see it was served in Easter egg, which is fantastic, very good idea. For a small party or if you're doing it at home, you can absolutely do this. But uh, it's involved a little bit more ingredients and slowly during the years, as every other recipe, this one involved to something more simple, more elegant and more approachable, let's put it this way, to be served in bars or again in your house. So for today, we're gonna need a very kind of a major ingredient here. And this is the Bovary chocolate liqueur. It's based on vodka, but it's mixed with a real chocolate inside. It's a very thick liqueur, very delicious. And I know it won't be available everywhere. So if you're somewhere in Europe, you can probably find it, or you can ideally use Bicherin, which is a Italian chocolate liqueur once more, if you can't find any of these, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find Mozart dark chocolate liqueur. The difference between this is that the Mozart, it's not that thick and doesn't include that much chocolate like these two liqueurs. So that's a kind of a good suggestion to supplement any of these liqueurs. However, if you have anything on the market, where you live, which is a chocolate liqueur using proper chocolate, but I never heard of, feel free to leave me kind of a comment and let me know about this liqueur and probably use it for this recipe. Also, you're gonna need a coffee liqueur. Now, whatever coffee liqueur you have, I'm using solo coffee today. Now, if you have Mr. Black or any other, you can use it, but make sure it's a cold brew coffee liqueur. So do not use Kahlua or even do not use Tia Maria because they have sweetness inside. It's gonna totally change the balance of the cocktail and the idea of this recipe. So make sure you get a proper cold brew liqueur, okay? Then you need mint pastille. Now, again, I know this recipe is kind of introducing you to ingredients which you probably don't hold in your home bar, but uh, hey, it's always nice to find something new and maybe try and discover new ingredients. Then I'm gonna be using the cacao liqueurs by Tempus Fugit and it's probably the best cacao liqueur you can find on the market. It needs a very little amount to be used because it's very intense in flavor and it's very rich. Literally 10 ml, it's more than enough in a cocktail. And of course, last ingredient, and this is gonna be an espresso. Yes. So we're not doing any espresso martini here. We're not doing any reef on espresso martini. We're not doing anything like that. It's a basically cocktail inspired by espresso martini, taking a little bit from the after eight biscuits, which is chocolate and mint, and introducing a cold brew coffee inside. So combination of few cocktails to create something totally new fantastic dessert cocktail or even like a, just a party cocktail. So if you're ready, let's start making the cocktail. Now you're gonna need a shaker, of course, 
because the cocktail is shaken. So we'll start with our chocolate liqueur and believe it or not, <clears throat> if you put too much, uh, it's gonna be very thick and very heavy and it's gonna drop on the bottom of the glass. So you don't need to put too much, but you need at least a good amount to introduce the chocolate inside. So only 15 ml or a half an ounce and look how thick is this. It's a proper real chocolate mixed with the vodka. That's all it is. Now with the coffee liqueur, we're gonna go with two ounces. There we go, 50 here and 10 on this side. The mint, it's only 10 ml. If you want a little bit more minty, you can go around 15 ml or a half an ounce. And of course, we're gonna go with our cacao liqueur. 15 ml or a half an ounce of the cacao liqueur. And finally, we're gonna go with the coffee, which is gonna be, again, two ounces. So it's gonna match the coffee liqueur. So this is a very heavy coffee orientated cocktail. Let's put it that way. Fill up your shaker with ice. Uh, it needs to be very good chill, okay? And give it a little good shake. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, glass. And let's pour our wonderful chocolatey coffee cocktail, which simply I call Choco Mint. Now, because you're using a chocolate liqueur, which it's quite heavy, it's gonna work out with the coffee, but it's gonna pull back a little bit of this fruffiness, which you used to uh, espresso martini. That's why I say we can call espresso martini because it's nothing to do with espresso martini, okay? Garnish is not required. If you want to have some color contrast, you can pop uh, a wonderful mint leaf on the top, but in general, this is it. The Choco Mint, wonderful chocolate coffee indulgence. Cheers. Mm. Deliciously fresh coffee, chocolate, and a wonderful freshness from the mint. Guys, you have to try this. I hope you can find the ingredients, but if you can, try to supplement with something just to make it up because it's worth every sip. Stay safe and I'll see you next week with another cocktail. Until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.